Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an AMD 178B. It's a tier 6 French wheeled vehicle, light tank, and it's located on the south west spawn of Highway under the command of Belle Delphine Filipperino. And the game started. Now, you can see from the skin, this is a Mario Kart. Yep, it's a wheelie, a wheeled vehicle, the new hated class for any RT player because these tanks tend to get behind enemy lines and do a lot of damage. Well, it's armed with a 75mm gun if it's got the top gun, and this one is the top gun, and that can do 110 Alpha. And he's headed off to uh, get to the top of the field so he can actually drive into enemy territory and try and spot the enemy vehicles as they come into sight. Well, got a T-52 been seen, and this vehicle does have the uh, cruise mode and the maneuverable mode. When he's in maneuverable at the moment, not cruise. And you can see these rounds are going into that 5916, doing a lot of damage. And he's down. The kill for that one went to an ISU-122S. Okay, well, we're maneuvering in and out of the trees without actually damaging any of them. And that won't slow us down, but it also makes it difficult for the enemy to shoot us. And that's because these things move fairly quickly. And we've spotted another enemy tank. It's a KV-85 this time and an Amir-1. Well, he's trying to get shots on them, but he just took a round there from the C-52 from an APCR round, a 57mm round. 90 hit points. Okay, he's locked onto the KV-85, fires around him, but he's pulling back. Okay, over the road, and now he's safe. Now, the main advantage of these Mario Karts is that they are incredibly quick. So quick that it's actually difficult to lock onto them and kill them. You have to really wait for them to make a mistake and drive in a straight line for a moment, and then you can nail the little... Yep, I'm an arty player. I don't like these vehicles, but I have to know how they work in order to kill them. And normally I do kill them. Well, he's got a round into a KV-85 there. And he's pulling back. Now, a lot of drivers of these vehicles, and you can see he's actually driving backwards here. Uh, a lot of these drivers uh, who play this vehicle don't realise that uh, you are very vulnerable if you YOLO into the enemy lines, get discovered and get wiped out very quickly. And so the vast majority of wheeled vehicles get killed very, very quickly in the battle. But Bel Delphine Filipperino, he's not going to do that. He's a little more seasoned. And so uh, what he does is he uh, takes advantage of any situation that the enemy gets into. And there's a Link 6x6. It's the next step up from this one. This is a Tier 8 game. He's Tier 6 light wheel vehicle. And the Lynx, well, that is a uh, Tier 8 wheelie. Is it Tier 7? I think it's tier 8. Okay, well, what we've got here is... Oh, uh, enemy heavy tank. And he's going to do a drive-by, I think. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Emil. Yep, oh, that didn't work. It didn't go through, but it might distract the Emil long enough that our friend in the 112 can do some damage to him. When we're tracking him... Oh, we're putting rounds into his rear. We've got good penetration. One into his drive wheel. He's tracked. Now he's vulnerable. One more, keep him tracked. We're taking away his hit points bit by bit. Another one. The Emil is getting absolutely wiped out. This is really good stuff. Oh, he got a fire there. And his premium fire extinguisher went off. He's a one shot now. And, oh, he didn't get it, but he might be able to get it. No, nope, I'm afraid the 112 got it instead. <laughs> but you just see, this is a, a vehicle that can take uh, opportunities and ambush the enemy unawares drive up behind them very quickly, put a couple of rounds in and disappear before the enemy can respond. Oh, and we saw an M4A3E2, the Super Jumbo, making his way down that road. We planted a round into him, but he got wiped out by a KV-2. We're one tank down on the enemy at the moment. The enemy seems to have our cap area, unfortunately. That Lynx 6x6 we saw earlier in the game. Well, unfortunately, he has disposed of... Um, the remaining tanks we had up there, including our S-51. We've lost our arty. But uh, Bel Delphine in his Mario Kart is racing to the rescue. 
like the cavalry arriving late to the homesteaders besieged by the Indians. Now that's a terrible analogy. Now this vehicle, they put in a requisition to try and um, get one of these back in the 1930s. Um, oh, there's the P-43 and we put a round in. And another. And finished him off. Okay, there's the Lynx. Here he comes. And, oh, what a shot! Double somersault there from the Lynx. Now the scores are even. In fact, I said we actually have the advantage because we've got two heavy tanks, the enemy doesn't. Mind you, they have an RT, we don't. Okay, this ISU-122 stopped to take a shot, and now he's going to get pinned down. If we can get a shot into his drive wheel, we'll immobilize him. Uh, we're trying to just keep on his side, and because this vehicle can drive backwards quite well, we can keep doing that. Well, he was taken out by our ISU-122S, and now I have the feeling... Oh, T-92 light tank firing at long range it's very difficult that light tank can move pretty quickly we tried a snapshot there or try to lead shot rather and unfortunately he's trolling our kv2 so we're going to go for the scorpion instead and uh, can we get the t92 no the scorpion's out he killed our kv2 that t92 Well, I guess the best thing we can do now is for Beldelphine Filipperino to go and kill the enemy RT. There's only one. It's a GW Panther. And he's disposing of his HE rounds. Now, I wonder if he is going to try and get Faden's medal. Well, he's only got two HE rounds left. Doesn't want to dispose of those. Yes, because this is a little trick that some... Um, extremely good Unicum players um, use is they they find an enemy tank they damage it sufficiently so that it's a uh, one-shot and then he hit it with an HE round and get a Faden's medal but he's waiting for his oh he is the last one alive they killed the T92 so it's now his time to get this GW puts one in it's not enough he needs to ram that GW he fires his last round in and oh he fired too many rounds you see He's lost his Fadens now. He's got no ammo left. All he can do is ram that GW Panther. And so he's approaching it, moving at various angles to throw off the GW's aim. And now all he needs to do is reverse and drive straight into that GW and take the victory. And the GW's fired his round up in the air. He knows full well. There's no way he's going to get away with this. He's dead meat. But I would actually keep fighting because I'm a Watt RT Noobs player and I don't give up. And there you go. <laughs> and that is a Kamikaze because he was tier 6 and the GW was tier 7. It's such a pity if he fired less rounds he could have had a Faden smell. He could have hit the GW with enough rounds so left him on a one shot and then fired the remaining rounds into the ground until he had one left and killed off that GW. Well, it was an ace tanker for Beldelfine Filipperino in the Panhard AMD 178B. He got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage on the enemy, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, he got nine, and a fire for effect for doing more damage than hit points for his own vehicle. Out of the epic medals, he picked up a confederate. He did, uh, he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team, at least six tanks subsequently taken out by teammates, a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and a kamikaze because he rammed an enemy tank to kill it and it was a higher tier than his tank um so there you go and there's his results so let's have a look at team score well there you go right at the top of the table 2719 hit points of damage the next high scorer was the isu 122s on his own team with 2701 and to the next high scorer was that t92 that nuisance 2526 hit points to him when it came to kills, it was the ISU-122S who did the best. He got seven kills, so he picked up a top gun. And uh, the next high score after that was Beldelfine Filipperino with three. The 112 got three. And the enemy Panhard uh, Lynx managed to get um, three, and so did their T-92.
And when it came to base XP, though, it was Bell Delphine Filipperino. He got 1,554, and the ISU 122S got 1,044. And last of all, the 112 managed to get 892. Filipperino fired 45 rounds in that game. Uh, in fact, actually, he fired his entire magazine. He got 26 direct hits and 24 penetrations, damage of 2,719 hit points, of which 115 were up more than 300 meters. He received one hit, it was a penetration, and he also uh, spotted seven enemy vehicles, so short of the two that he needed to get a scout medal, and he damaged nine of the enemy, killed three, and did damage assistance of 1,470 hit points. I think, actually, that's spotting assist on, on that occasion. On a premium count, he earned 36,536 credits and after repair, ammunition resupply and consumables. And remember, he did dispose of all of his ammo, including the premium rounds. He actually ended up with a small loss. Um, small loss, 20,795 credits there. Yes, my eyesight is finally going. Um, he received 1,554 XP times four for the first victory of the day. Took away 9,324 experience points from one game. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so if you enjoyed this game in the Mario Kart with uh, Philip Perino, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And uh, we get great replays like this all the time. And it would be a real shame if you miss one of the good ones. So thanks for watching.